Hello guys, this is MaxCuff4, and today I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks on Infection Free Zone and how you guys can improve yourselves if you're starting out or even if you've been playing for a while and you want to figure out how to do better in this game. So first off, you start off with your HQ, you just spawned in, um, you have one squad. Operator. What you want to do is create more squads. Receiving. You Operator. generally want to create, if action. you can, Waiting orders. it could be worth it to change, create up to six squads. Now these other squads aren't going to have any guns, as you see they only have machetes. Operator. Um, so it's probably in your best interest to go ahead and send them to the closer buildings and send the ones with the guns out to the further buildings, just in case they get caught out after dark. Um, so that's how you make all, all those groups. You want to make a bunch of them in the first few nights, and then you can disband them like after the after the first three days, I'd say. Um, get down to three or four squads, because that'll just help you gather really quick and have enough food so you're not ever having uh, food shortages, at least not for the first like week or so. Alright, um, after that, how you can organize these groups is you go ahead and take... Because a lot of times it can be annoying because you're like... Ready for action. Okay, which group is this? Easy way to toggle them all is you can click one. Report. Squad one, control one. So now that's uh, number one, Report. control two. Yeah. Operator. Control two. Waiting orders. Control three. All right, so now I'm just selected one, Waiting two, orders. three, Report. one, two, Waiting three. Orders. Makes Receive it super it. easy, all right? So that can help you control your guys Receive and all. It. Ready for action. That should take you. Operator, on my way. Receiving. It should make it easier for you guys to locate your squads because one, two, three, Operator. one, two, three. Operator. Operator. You get up to six and it'll be easy. Receiving. Um, another cool thing that you can do is um, you can queue up orders. I don't know if you guys know this, so I click one Waiting and I hold shift. Right click on this, right click on this, right click on this, all the way down. So what's going to happen is he's going to go out, he's going to start gathering, and do the same thing Operator. for this, hold shift, right click, right click. Roger. They're going to go ahead, we can speed this up. He's going to go ahead and he's going to search, and as soon as he Receiving. gets full with stuff, he gets over four, Clear. he's going to come back Clear. to the HQ, drop everything off, and then Building he's going to continue on his way. Waiting orders. Let's see. Ready for action. Building clear. Clear. So he's going, dropping Roger. off of the HQ. He's going back. All right. So another thing to note um, is how to actually move. So WASD is how you move around the map. Scroll in and out with mouse meal. Most people figure that out. Um, Q and E. That's how you rotate around. So you, like, if you're building walls, it could be especially helpful because you're just trying to place things down. Um, you can't quite see around something. You want to place this down, but then you want to see how it looks on this side, and then come around. Oh, you get around that light pole. Makes it a lot easier. Q, E, um, holding shift to make sure you queue up those orders. Uh, um, another cool thing is you hold control. One, Ready two, three, four. I select all four of those, and I can tell them to move out. So We're on the move. All four of them have been selected, and now they're going to move out. Um, it's another cool thing. I didn't know how to do it at the beginning of the game. I thought it would be useful. You guys probably want to know. Move your groups. Move. move you guys all as one. Makes it lots, lots easier to do. Building clear. All right, guys. Next thing I'm going to talk about is car storage. In case you don't know, there is currently three types of vehicles that you can find. I haven't been able to find any more types. Um, so the first one is your typical sedan. Um, this can only carry ten, or the capacity of ten. Um, if anything, can carry ten fuel cans, ten ammo, ten uh, food, whatever tools whatever you find um has 3000 vehicle health i'm pretty sure the vehicle health stays Operator. the same oh no actually it doesn't excuse me has 3000 vehicle health um next we have the combi um has 3500 vehicle uh health and it can actually uh they take the same amount of fuel Operator. except for the truck can take up more um i assume they go through more fuel once they're loaded i don't really know how that works to be honest so the combi has 15, the stand has 10, and then the pickup truck has 20 and also has a higher fuel capacity. I assume it goes through more fuel, but there's no there's no actual telling. It doesn't really say. Um, so next thing Operator. I'm going to talk about is uh, how you actually load your ammo for your guys. So, like As you can see, the ammo is down a little bit. So there's two options. I can either drag my ammo up here, and then I have... I've reloaded him, I've reloaded him, um, or I can get him to disembark, and he can go either to my warehouse, 
which as ammo or my HQ and as soon as you as soon as he pops in there he'll have full ammunition um, just keep in mind like if you're defending um, this guy's inside he's inside the HQ which has ammo then um, he and he's defending he'll still run out of ammo so a quick thing you can do is you can just pop out have him pop out pop back in and then he'll be good to go and he'll be able to reload his ammo kind of weird how that works but uh that's how they how it works um also for ammo and the squad's resources you want to like f you move it from their resources Waiting to the actually um to actually have uh in their gun because they won't won't reload by themselves which is weird um so unloading your vehicles very quickly so I, as you saw i just dragged all filled up their squad resources next i'm going to go ahead and get them to exit the vehicle so i'm going to click them reporting Hold shift, right click the building, there. right click the pickup truck, and right click the building. So now, what they're going to do is they're going to unload all their stuff here. Go around. They'll get in the pickup, drive it a little bit closer, make it funky. We're on the move. Probably. Park it with all these other vehicles over here, which is annoying, but they want to get the closest going route. There. So as you can see, he drives it over here. He unloads, fills up with food again. On unloads it there. Fills Roger. up with food again. Unloads it there. And he's gonna get his ammo going there. and completely unload it in. Roger. As you can see, he'll keep doing way. it until he runs out of commands or he runs out of stuff, Operator. and then he'll go ahead and stop. Roger. Go ahead and get back in the truck. On my way. Roger. And then uh, also, if you have fuel in your HQ, your vehicle will automatically uh, refuel beside your warehouse or your HQ. But I currently don't have any fuel. Ready for action. Um, going there. So that's why they're not. Um, Go ahead and doing that. Another cool thing you can do is Roger. say that, that I have say that I have uh, four pistols and I have an AK, but I want them to take the AK. Operator. So one way you could do it is if it's inside here, you can just go ahead and pull it up and it'll replace a pistol. Um, another way you can do it is uh, say you have uh, four pistols, just go ahead and put one in your uh, squad resources. Finished construction. Go ahead and enter the building. Operator. Going there. And then. Uh, You'll go ahead and re-equip with the. Uh, if you had the, no if there was AK, they would go ahead and re-equip with that. So that's how you get new weapons in case you're uh, wanting. So make sure you drag it to your squad resources, enter the building, and voila, you'll have an AK. Um, next thing we'll be moving to is how to defend properly. All right, as you can see, my guys have spotted. We went ahead and spotted a horde out here outside my base. Um, as you can see. If I select over them, I can see their range with the AK. That's that's the AK's range. The pistol range is a little bit shorter than that. Um, but if I go out there and go ahead and just get inside the range, and he'll start shooting. So when you're moving, when they're moving, they won't shoot. But a cool thing you can do is like just go up, shoot a few, drive up, shoot a few, or you get them on the road like this. Um, you want to be on the road. You don't want because if you go off road, you'll see how it slows down. Roger. They can actually damage your vehicle. Way. But on the road, Roger. you can actually just Going mow there. through them. Go fast, turn around, Roger. Roger. and mow through them. We're gonna let way. these guys get in the building because I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys something else move. as well. But this Going is getting there. daytime, so these guys want to get inside the building. Roger. But if you have two Roger. cars doing that, you can just mow through them way. pretty, pretty easily. Roger. Roger. All right. So now they're in a building. On my way. Okay. Um, another thing to note is you We're guys, resources. when they're out in the open, the zombies are always going to go for them. And when they're in the car, the zombies are always going to go for them. So if you had um, zombies right here and you have people in the building and you have people in the car, they're going to go for the people in the car. Or if you have people in the open, they go for the people in the open. Now, if your car is halted or your people are in the open, they can die really easily. So just be aware of that. And it takes a while for them to get in the building. If they're in a building, you can drive your car up and like smack them out of there, which is pretty awesome. Um, just always keep your guys garrisoned at night and make sure you use those cars effectively to run them over or to um, just lure them. You can lure them into a kill zone like that. Like I, I saw, they slowly follow me. I, what I like to do is, uh, see, you know, I have towers down here. So I'll lure them down the street, just lure them down the street until I get to my, my garrison right here. And then they'll just get shredded by the garrison. Where I'll load them in the middle, between the garrison, between the house, and then they can just get shot from both sides and the towers, and it's just game over for them. Alright, moving on to the last little main tip. Um, Receiving. 
So clearing buildings. So We're normally, going there. I know there's zombies in there. And going there. I gotta clear out this building though, because it, say it's beside my HQ and I don't want the zombies there. So I'm gonna hop in the building, We're on the move. shoot, hop out, shoot two, two or three shots, and hop, on my way. hop in. We're not alone here. Take a few shots and hop back out. Now if you Run. keep doing this, um, say there's a big horde, that one took, was pretty easily to take down. Say there's a big horde, you can slowly do that, as long as you have enough Save ammo. It. Um, and you will not take casualties. If you let them just sit in there and clear it. Um, slowly, they're gonna take casualties, people are gonna get hurt, someone might die, actually. Building clear. Because clearing a building full zone is probably the way. most effective thing. But if you hop in and out like that, you'll easily be able to kill them and not take damage. You can take out big hordes. I've had, like, three hordes in one building and haven't taken a single damage. Had to get a second squad because I ran out of ammo, but that was the only thing. Um, last but not least, we'll talk about, uh, how to Roger. get more people and also how to, um, deal with food. Alright, so, as you can see, I have a radio tower, and this is, uh, you get this from an event that tells you to go to a library, which is like, uh, one of these buildings, take, push V to turn this on, library, make sure you get scientific material, you get scientific material, then you'll build this good old research center, you research the first basic antenna, you build this, um, you can get a lot of cues and stuff that you can do with it, um, go to the push to talk, and you can invite. To all survivors. This is an infection-free zone. We provide food and shelter, safety and security. Join us. And the soldiers are being overrun, and we cannot hold them off much longer. And then you can, you get, uh, people usually be grouped at six or How five. How many of you are there? Eight. So I have eight people, but I'm, don't, I'm not doing good on food, so I'm just going to decline. Sorry, we can't accept you. So, I went ahead and declined them, <laughs> because I already have a lot, enough people and have a little bit low on food. Um, another thing is how to produce food. So that's how you get more people. This is how you produce food. Um, setting up barns. You get a vent from that by looting. It'll pop up with chickens for getting the barn. And this will convert uh, one bag of grain into two meat in about s seven hours. Um, I have another one of these somewhere. And then, uh, so that's... And then you get uh, bags of bags of grain from the farms, which is pretty cool. And I think you need uh, you need to start with bags of grain, be able to produce some more because they got to plant it. So you do all that, get the, get the chickens, and you get the wheat, and then you have your cookhouse. Your cookhouse go ahead and converts uh, a bag of wheat and wood to make things of four things of food, or three things of meat and one wood to produce five things of wood. And then people, this will be fresh food that people eat. As you can see, I have one. Uh, I have eight of these for my citizens. So I'm producing that. You get enough of those, and you won't have to go out and scavenge anymore. And that'll actually help you be able to sustain bigger populations. And then you can just keep inviting more people. Be aware sometimes there'll be like traps um, from these transmissions. So just be on the lookout for that. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys learned something. Leave a like if it helped you, and subscribe if you want to see more. And goodbye.